Welcome to Fears to Fathom, Norwood Hitchhike. Now this is the second part in the Fears to Fathom series. I played the first part like months ago and this is the second part. There's a motel in the background, is that where we're staying? Let's check it out. June 16th. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help even if it's just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great, and there was another day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour drive. So is this the gaming convention we're at? We're in the middle of nowhere it seems. Oh, I thought this was a cutscene. I was actually meant to be driving. Shouldn't text while driving. Turn it off. So I'm meant to be driving on this side of the road, Dad. Where did you reach? So it's 9pm. No, 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 no. Don't crash. I would admit I was a terrible driver. Come on. It's still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. Again, you sure we're driving all the way back? I don't really have a choice now, do I? Could have left tomorrow morning. Okay, give me a call when you reach back to your cave. Okay, Dad. Not sure if we'll be this lifetime, though. What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. That sucks. It's not too good here, either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it, I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do! Oh, there's my gas. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. So where am I going now? I'm cooked, stranded in the middle of nowhere, gotta stick to the right side. Told you to take that flight. Shut up, Dad. I do whatever I want. I live by my own rules. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling alright. This is a long-ass drive. Okay, let's not crash into that. It's a gas station. Alright, let's refuel. Ah, come on, drive. Come on, you can make it. I believe in you. Don't bump into anything. That's good enough. So how do I refuel? Can I grab it? Norwood gas station. Hello, how do I fill my car up? Can you please answer my question? How's your night going? He just looked at me. Where are you headed? He just looked at me. Uh, this other guy's looking at me. Oh, now mom's messaging me. Holly? Mom? How are you, good sir? Ma'am? Hi, can I get $10 on pump two? You heading to the bridge by yourself? The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of the year. Be careful. Oh, uh, why? What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there, and people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. We got monsters in this? Cool! Okay, I got my gas now. What is he doing? Look at you! Stop looking. And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on gas as hard as you can. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstances, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. I'm just not gonna stop for anyone. Never mind the white and blue gowns. I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Really? You could have told me that earlier, Mom. I'm gonna destroy the shop. Yeah, that's right, no much. What are you doing over there? Nothing. Nothing. I wonder if he'll jump scare me. Hey. Yeah, you don't need that. Can I pick this up? No. Yeah! Uh, here's the dog food. Dog food, please. That'll be five dollars, ma'am. I don't get why the doors can't just open. Why does it have to fade to black? I was about to say, what car was that? And oh, it's so neatly organized. My car was parked a little f too far at first. There. What? The that's not close at all. It doesn't matter. I filled the tank and I was off the road again. Finally! That was quite the detour, wasn't it? So it did say not to stop for any hitchhikers. Well, guess what, hitchhikers? I'm not going to be stopping for you. Being on the road, you do realise the thing. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Is that a hitchhiker? Sorry? Mom, I'm not, I'm not looking at your messages, Mom. I've got to keep a lookout on Northwood hitchhikers. I've never had paranoia while driving in a game. This is a first. Normally in a car, I'm meant to be safe and sound, but the hell? Did that car stop for something? Someone? Should I overtake it? I'm gonna gap him. Yo, what's with the flickering lights? 
He's speeding off now. So what's with my headlights? They keep flashing on and off. I can't see a thing. It's just static grainy all over my screen. Surely it's like fade to black or something and I'm already there. Or am I driving the whole damn way? Okay, this is a different road now. I've gone to the bridge. This is where all the hitchhikers are. I would admit I was a terrible driver. What the hell? I didn't bump into anything. The Golden Gate Bridge. This is where it starts to get dangerous. I can't see the I can't see the sun because of how like much my light's shining on it. I would admit this is getting scary now. Okay, that car just stopped, but I'm not stopping. I was gonna run it over <laughs> if it didn't get out the way. There's this very weird thing about that night. You this felt weird. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. It's almost seemed as if someone oh those are heavy. I didn't think much of it at the time. Go 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 go. I hear someone. I had to move the logs to go ahead. I hear footsteps, man. Please just move. Okay. Wh why did that take so long? I don't feel safe in the car now. The car wouldn't start back up. I just refueled it. And just like that, I was trying in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever the bull crap that gas station clerk pulled. What is that? But I would be lying if I say I didn't feel the slightest of unease. Who wouldn't in a situation like this? I don't mean to just make this sound like a cliche horror story, but throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at that moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. So is a car gonna come or something? 10.23 p.m. So now someone's gonna come. I saw a car nearing there. What the hell? Don't crash into me. Hey, 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 hey. Pure evil. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. I thought he was gonna run me over. 10.43 p.m. Someone here? No one. <gasps> My savior. Please stop for me. Hey, what? He did stop. I don't trust him. Am I gonna have to go near it? Fudge sticks. You're the girl from the gas station. Wait, I can't see him. Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Yeah, it's him. Prim from the store. Hurry up. I need to get moving now. Can you help me get my stuff? It's not safe to get out here. I've been here for hours. It's fine. Nothing's gonna happen. Only had two hands. Could I not like carry something with my mouth like the cat? And then another between my legs. Way more efficient. If this guy is really believing in what he's saying, that it's unsafe out here, shouldn't he have parked a bit closer so he can get out here quicker? Wouldn't that make more sense? I'm done. Finally. Now hop in and be quick. So, how's life? So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going? I'd rather not say if that's okay. If you say so. How long was he at the store for? You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? It's an old car. That's it. I think so. Enough with the small talk. Put the foot on the gas and speed through. So, what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? He really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. So is it true? What? The monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. I think the devs just like put that whole hitchhiker thing there on purpose to scare me. So you don't feel safe while driving. You know I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Oh yeah, the one who wouldn't respond to me. 12.08am. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. How am I meant to leave this motel? Okay, this is the place and the title screen. So do I just like steal a car? Easy ending. Where do I book my room? I couldn't just go into any room. Well, obviously. Can I get a drink? Consuming these items increases your sprint speed. I don't know how much money I have. Chocolate, new. Soda can. Heat snack, new. Nuts, chocolate. Refreshing soda. 
bubbles drink can, carrot drink, orange can drink, milk chocolate, chocolate candies, grapefruit drink, chocolate cola bottle. I was too low on cash for that. Okay, but I can get stuff from here. Not approved for occupancy. I don't want to leave my stuff out here in the middle of nowhere. That man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Oh, I can see why. Gal needed a room to shack up for the night. How much is it for a room? $40 for a single. Pay cash only. Room number nine, right over there. Talk about the car. $90. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Okay, good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing, try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. You can stop staring. I'm guessing I've got to bring my stuff with me. Look, he's looking at me through the window. He's probably looking at me through the walls. Look at him, he doesn't see me. Holly? Why are you not, what do you mean rewrote? Dad, I may have to stay by a motel tonight, not delivered, oh, cause I don't have any data. Do they not have internet here? Bro, where are you out? Your dad's calling me. Well, I can't respond. Nine, go in. It was nice and warm inside, except there was a s smell, a type of musky smell you get from old houses. Like what? Whoa! What are you doing here? Get out of my house! What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I should be asking you. I'm Tommy. Room service here at Roadway Inn. The final stopover in Norwood. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. Hee hee hee. I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Please wait outside. I said, go get your stuff. Okay, man. They said consuming the items increases your sprint speed by how much, though? Oh, I just left my room open. Okay. It scared me, man. I had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry. It's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. Hee hee hee. But you have a good night. Get out. Get out. Out. Had to get my stuff in room before I could sleep. This part is tedious, I can't lie. Should all just be in one suitcase. See to crouch. Oh, that's not a good thing. What? Call it a foresight, but there was something very off about that place. A uh, very? Couldn't sh help shake the feeling that something wasn't right. The feeling tiredness was overcoming by anxiety. A hot cup of coffee could help. Coffee where? Huh? Hide? <gasps> it detects my mic. So oh. Also, why are you drinking coffee before bed? You know you, you shouldn't have caffeine like before you go to sleep. I didn't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee could help me stay up. I don't want to disturb the neighbor, but... Got some good coffee? Espresso or cappuccino? Consume. What if I want to go in there? Oh, if I'm getting startled by that, I definitely would have screamed at a jump scare. Just arrive out then. What is going on? Am I high? The controls are reversed. Gotta get to my room. They're taking messages. I can't see. I'm high. I've been drugged. That coffee is drugged. Get to my room. Get to my room. Yeah. What was with that? 3.18 a.m. I was sedated. From the coffee or from something else? From, from the energy drink. From the energy soda. <gasps> Who's in there? Shut up, shut up. Shut up, shut up. Who's in there? Who's in here? Who's in here? Whoa! I should've gone out. No, I have to reset. Do I actually have to reset that? There's no- Oh! Oh, it's auto-saved! It's saved, it's saved. Thank you, game! Oh, wait. From this, all is saved, though. <gasps> what the hell? Didn't feel safe going out. Now, where am I meant to go? Someone knocking on my door? It's him! The guy. I don't know. Can I, can I go outside now? Who, who is it? Joe from front desk. Open the door. Okay, open the door. Hello, good sir. Can I speak to you? Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? Mate, I didn't wake anyone up. I have complaint. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is. 
Just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Coffee machine. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guess, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Me, Joe. Follow me, Joe. Follow me. What's happened? Show me your coffee machine now. It's not gonna be there. You are slow as hell. Pick up the pace, old man. Wait, no, my sprinting speed's back to normal now. But, sir, it was right here. I swear, I swear, it was right here. Go back to the room. For some reason, his demeanor completely changed. What is it? I said go back now. Did you not hear me? I said go back to the room and don't get out! Check the table by the telly. There should be some medication in your room that should offer some new relief. Check the table by the telly. Don't look at me. Go back to your front desk. In here? That's the medication, isn't it? It requires water. <gasps> oh, where's the water? Where's the damn water? Oh, the water's not here. The vending machine had water, didn't it? Oh, here. The water was here, right? Okay, surely that counts as water. Or just like any sort of drink from here. Fizzy or not. Consume. That doesn't count. What do you mean didn't want it? Oh, there's a tap right there! What am I doing? What a waste of my time. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Okay, I'm out of here, man. What's going on? Oh, someone just take a picture. What's with the whispering? Who's whispering? <gasps> Who's that? Hello? Do you feel safe going out? What? Who is it? Please open the door, I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. No. 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 Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty <coughs> lady, come on. <gasps> hide, hide. Closet. No one's in here, right? happened did he save me to this day i find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected motel's reputation and let go of the situation i knew he wouldn't be a creep it's always the people portrayed as the creep that that ends up being the savior i believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year i never went on long road trips again i would always take airplanes lesson learned don't go on long road trips just take airplanes <laughs> He's back with my car! Yes! I beat it! I beat it! I beat it! I'm excited to play the other chapters. That's it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.